the node tool allows for quick and effective manipulation of incoming MIDI data. The mod menu shows us how the node tool operates in a selected mode. More on that later. Let's first see what the node tool can do. In the blue filter section, we can specify the node and velocity range we want to work with. Nodes that do not match our filter are blocked, indicated by the red LED. All nodes within the correct node and velocity range are passed to the adjust section, indicated by the blue LED. Here are some things we can do with the modulators on incoming nodes. Octave shifts the played octave. Offset pitch allows us to quickly transpose nodes. Fixed pitch lets us set a fixed node value. Velocity offset makes our nodes softer or stronger. Fixed gives us a fixed velocity. Scale increases or decreases the existing velocity. In the graph under velocity we can even draw any dynamic curve. Node length has three modes. Min, max and fixed. Fixed gives us a fixed value as usual, while min adjusts two short nodes to the set value and max shortens two long nodes. Restrict poly limits the maximum number of nodes to the set value. To the right we have four different restrict options that allow us to prioritize the highest, lowest, last or first played node. Additionally there is a hold function with three different modes. Useful for designing pad sounds or when using the node tool as a key splitter. On the right there is a grey box that simply shows under in which nodes with which velocity is fed into the node tool and under out which nodes and velocities are output at the end. Let's move on to the modes. We have three options. Filter to adjust, adjust to filter, filter to adjust, split out. Which outputs nodes outside the range unchanged instead of blocking them. On the back we find numerous CV inputs and outputs. At the top left is the reject all gate in, which we can trigger externally to block nodes via CV. Here we also find our two LEDs again, whose gate and CV we can send to other instruments or players. The same applies to nodes that exceed our maximum node count, as well as the final MIDI melody that node tool outputs after the modulators. Finally. We have gate and CV ins for all modulators on the front. Some of the functions in the node tool have been possible for years through workarounds in Reasons Player or CV Jungle. Nevertheless, the node tool optimizes and expands on this for a fast workflow and creative ideas.